What is up guys? Digger Jim here back with another video. We got some mail. It's part two, part two of the comics carrying cancer. There's going to actually be a part three. I know I didn't want to do a part three, but something's taking longer to get here. So we're going to open this box right after this. Thank you for watching if you're watching on the rerun i appreciate that too i hope you'll hit that like button hit that subscribe button tell your friends about it because we're going to open up some cool stuff this is the box that i got from rob fat stacks of comics this was from his auction part where they did the big uh big sales i got some c3 stickers always good to have those so i can share those out with people I got a nice, oh, very cool, a C3 card with a thank you note on it. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. So this is new. Uh, it, there was a lot of original art, um, you know, covers being drawn by different artists around the community from Instagram to wherever. And if it didn't sell at the auction, they put it up on Nerd Crawler. So this is about Nerd Crawler. And my camera is not focusing. But it tells how Nerd Crawler works. And if you would like to sign up for Nerd Crawler, you can at nerdcrawler.com and purchase some of these items that didn't get sold during Comics Cure and Cancer. They're all original art pieces. Um, I had a limited budget. So I would have bought everything. There were some amazing pieces in there. I would have bought it all. But, I, you know, you have to have control. So, yeah, we had control. So we're going to get into it. Um, we have packages very well. So we're going to try to go through this as quickly as possible. This should be the slabs or slabs that I bought. I know one of them's in here. We're going to go through this quickly. I may do the super speed up thing. I'm trying to work on that. So that may be part of it. Working on my editing skills, people. Yep, these are two slabs. Okay. Let's see what we got. Right on. So, the first slab, this was just more of an impulse buy. It wasn't on my radar of ones that I had to have, but it came up. Nobody was bidding on it, and I was like, you guys, this is a sweet-looking cover. Um, so, it's Ant-Man number 5 in a 9.0, and I'm going to try to do this without glare. I just thought it, you know, thought it represented Ant-Man kind of cool. And it says it's the Marvel Collector Corps exclusive. Nick Spencer story. Ramon Rosas art. Jim Chung cover. So this is a Jim Chung cover. The Chung variant cover. And I love Jim Chung's work. So, yeah. I bought it. I checked it out. I said, why not? All right. This next one. This was the one that I was going for. There were two slabs I was going for. One was a 3.0 Iron Man 1. I did not win that auction. I had a number. It went over it. Uh, congratulations to Barbarian Kung Fu. He won it. I didn't. But the other one I was going for, I said, you know what? This will be my runner-up. Uh, I always wanted this book. I think this cover's amazing. I, I'm okay with the, the grade. Uh, I really... It just is, it's the one I wanted in the collection, and it has a bonus. It has the date stamp. I love the date stamp on comics. I think it's just historical. I think it's great. So this is Captain America 100. It's the first issue of Black Panther appearance. Uh, the story numbering continued from Tales of Suspense number 99. This is a, uh, a Stan Lee story, uh, a Jack Kirby and Sid Shore's cover and art. Boom. Now, I found out the other day, this was donated by Rich from uh, Comic Cap Collectibles, and uh, he had upgraded to a 6.0. I am more than fine with this 3.0, and this glare is insane. But, if you can see that, it has the date stamp. It's probably not going to be able to see it because my camera's not going to focus. But it says, January 10th, 1968. 
I wasn't even a year old yet, fellas. This book is older than, it's, it's, I'm older than the book, but just barely. And it had some, like, you know, color rub and all that, a little blue right there. But I don't care. It's, it's just, it's just one of those awesome covers that you have to have in your, in your PC. And, you know, I, I bought a, I'm going to say it, like a reprint. That's right, you heard it, a reprint of this on purpose, not accidental, and uh, so I could read the story as well. So I have that. Now, there is another piece. I told you guys there was original art. You saw my Wolverine piece from the first video. This was um, this was another piece that was done, and I, I saw it, and Deathstroke is my favorite DC villain, and I had to have it. And I think this was... Uh, Boss Kong, I believe. Boss Kong, I had to have it. I mean, come on. Deathstroke is the man. I mean, I don't know how he hadn't killed Batman by now. I really don't. I mean, those two fight all the time, and it's like a, you know, one wins a little bit, and the other one runs away, and then the other one wins a little bit. It's like they just go back and forth. I mean, I honestly believe he could take out Batman. I really do. If he put a lot of maximum effort into it, like his cousin Deadpool... He could do it. I, I just think he's he's not utilized the way he should. He's always I always feel like Deathstroke's like the second fiddle type guy, you know. Um, like he's I know he's supposed to be an enforcer, but he could be so much more. But he just want they just wrote him like oh I'm just a mercenary and I just kill for money. So yeah, that's it. Those were the three pieces that I won <laughs> during uh, the auction that they had at on Rob's Fast X channel. Again, this was my key. This was the one that I wanted more than anything. It's going back up there on the wall at some point. It'll be in the rotation um, because it's just a phenomenal cover. And, you know, you got to have it. I love Cap. I love my Deathstroke. And, you know, this Atman ain't no joke either. This Atman is, is dope. I'm going to have to work on uh, stopping this glare. I should have not had my uh, window down. I think that uh, window up. I think there's too much sun. But anyways, listen, I'm going to tell you a little bit on Horizon. I'm have, going to have to have part three because there's another package coming. And uh, I can't wait to show that to you guys. But besides the part three video, I'm going to be doing a dig video. At, at least a, I'm going to try to put a couple in the bank because I haven't had time to go out and dig. And I want to. But I just it's just other family stuff has come up and I, I just couldn't. Uh, I appreciate everybody that supports me and watches my channel whenever I put a video up. Uh, you guys are awesome in the comic community and in the dig community. I appreciate it a lot. Um, my trick or my plan is to try to do like this video where if I dig up, say, a penny and it's from you know 1980, uh, you would see in the next screen, hey, these are two books that you could have bought in 1980. It might be a Marvel book. It might be a DC book. Or both. I don't know. Um, I just got to figure out how I'm going to merge it together. I know you guys that do editing all the time know how to do this. I'm not as quick on it as everybody else. So give me some time on that. But I really think that would be kind of cool. Um, even if I find you know, books from the 30s or uh, coins from the 30s and the 20s, they had books back then. I'm just going to have to dig into the old database to figure out what, you know, what would have been collected and bought back then. So... Anyways, like I said, thank you for watching. Um, tell your friends about it. Leave a comment down below. What did you like? I know some of you like that cat book. That cat book is bomb. I know Simon from uh, Mad Spidey wanted it, but I had to get it, Simon. I had to. So tell me what you think, and as always, keep digging.